Hey everyone, in this video I am going to explain aggregate functions. Aggregate functions return a single value calculated from values in a column. Aggregate functions they will work on the column, on the whole column at once and then they will return you a single value. Now we will discuss 5 aggregate functions, min that is a minimum, max, maximum, sum, avg is average, count and count star is uh, one portion of your count so first min is of course it's going to find the smallest value that is in the given column max is going to return the largest value sum is going to find the total sum of all the numeric values which are present in the column and average is going to return the average value now there are two versions of count if you mention count in the bracket you mention in the parenthesis you mention column name it is going to return the number of rows in that given column fine and if you write count star it is going to count the number of rows in the table irrespective of the number of rows in e each column so let's take few examples uh, employee table and there are five columns id name salary bonus and department let's apply let's check the working of aggregate functions so suppose if the question is find the total salary of the employees so how this question will be done select what is the name of the function i'm going to find the total salary so let's sum salary mention the name of the column that is salary from employee and click on execute it says that oh sorry i forgot i have written the wrong name that is s a l a r y execute and the total salary of all the employees is sum of all these five rows is this so i got the total salary you are going to use a select statement you are using select select statement that means it is just going to display you the output second thing is let's take another example find the total salary of the employees who are from computer science department now again we are going to find the total salary but here is a condition and you know the conditions in sql they are mentioned using the where clause so let where now what's the condition who are from computer science department so again in the condition you mention first the column name department then you mention your operator and our operator are then they mention the value so select some salary from employee where department equals to computer size so we have only one person and his salary is this so that should be our output department sparing some department execute and I got the answer and if I write agriculture here agriculture and click on execute I got the sum of all these salaries one more thing your data is case sensitive if I'm writing capital A here and click execute I'm getting nothing there because here the department names are small a fine and if your data is not same the case of the data is not same your computer will not identify uh, it's not identical it's not same so capital a agriculture is not equals to small a agriculture you can write anything here in capitals agri c u l ch again the output will be nothing but if i write it in small case letters agriculture execute i got the answer clear so your data is case sensitive and one more thing and whenever you are using this functions you can write always write this statement select your function name from table name that's the thing that you are going to use which function on which table and condition will be followed by where clause where your condition if i have to write the syntax syntax will be Select your function name from your table name where 
your condition fine so this is or you are you will use all the functions let's take one more example find the greatest salary of the employees who has id between 1 and 3 okay so we are going to find the greatest salary that means the function i am going to use will be max select max maximum of the salary the name of the column is salary from employee condition was who has id between 1 and 3 so where column name is id between 1 and 3 execute and the answer is we have between 1 and 3 so the 50000 sorry between 1 and 3 so this this and third one three are checked against the maximum salary and the first one had got the maximum salary among all three so we have got the answer fine so next one is find the lowest salary among the employees who are not from agriculture department so we have to find the minimum salary I'm going to remove rest of the commands okay let's not remove this so that you can check it later select minimum salary from employee where condition was where who are not from agriculture department where department not equals to agriculture and click on execute so I got since there is only one person who is uh, who is not from agriculture and that is Amman ID 1 so I got uh, that answer okay now uh, here I want to mention one thing see if I don't write quotes here and click on execute it says agriculture invalid identifier see whenever you are uh, when you are providing the values I am saying here that it is not from agriculture department since I am mentioning the terms and conditions I will use course for that whatever you write in course is provided by you and the computer will assume that this value is provided by the person by the user so it will not match that value with, with the already built records so if I write something else, there will be no error. Execute. There is no error. Why there is no error? Because I am providing a value that department not equals to this. Computer has to check department. Computer has to check employee, minimum salary, the keywords. But not what is written inside the codes. It will skip that. It will just match that thing with your table. So I have to write that in codes. Okay, moving to the next one. So this ends here. Count. Okay, I told. I have already told you the uh, use of count. Count is going to return the total number of rows in the column. So the question is count the number of employees whose na name starts with A. So the function will be select count what we are going to count the number of employees so I can count on the basis of their ID I can count on the basis of their name their salary their bonus anything so let's say name from table name where condition was whose name starts with a where name like a percentage like operator will match the value it has to start with a percentage mean zero or more character could be placed at the at the position of percentage so it there could be name like a there could be name like aman there could be name any name starting with a so if i click on execute answer is three we have aman amrita and ankita so answer is three here I want to 
tell one more thing the thing is if I write select the same query control C control V for pasting and if I write ID here and click on execute the answer is 2 not 3 this time why because check the definition it counts the number of rows in the given column and this time I'm saying that count on the basis of their ID and in ID we have just four values this is the cell is not filled so count will be let me show you select without the condition count name from EMP sorry employee and if I write control ID execute last two commands are count the ID and count the name answer is in ID we have four in name we have five so it's going to count the number of rows which are filled in that particular column and if now I execute that command control V and uh, count ID as per the since I'm, we are counting on the basis of the ID and there are only four, four people so that's why I'm getting the answer match 1 starting with A1 match 2 starting with A2 Venkata not starting with A Raghu not starting with A and this one will not be counted that's why I'm getting the answer oh let me execute it I'm getting the answer 2 here clear now the last command with the count is select count star from employee if I click on execute answer is 5 count means count means star means all so it's going to count all the rows which are present in the table irrespective of number of cells present in particular column okay one more thing there's one more question uh, count the number of departments in the table if I say count select count the number of departments execute answer is 5 C answer is 1 row 1 2 3 4 5 but I don't want this answer I want answer should be 2 because there are only two departments one is computer science and one is agriculture so logically there should be one answer so how I can achieve this I'll write the word distinct that means only the columns in the column only the cells which are distinct they will be counted so if there are some cells which are duplicated they will be counted at once so one will be agriculture uh, one will be computer science and there are four agriculture that will be counted as one so answer will be two answer is two thank you